Alright, this is an update on the General Electric Model 50 clock radio from 1947, which is sitting right there. Oh, do you see a difference with the with the uh, brass? Look at the brass on that. Oh, I polished that thing up. That looks good. It's my, it's my alarm clock now. It's my favorite alarm clock. Now, what is this update about? Well, quite a bit of things, actually. For one, let's look at some vintage advertising. Yeah, my printer's messing up a bit. But, uh, there's a vintage advertising right there. There's the radio right there. I do wish I had this color. That would have looked pretty, but meh, I don't care. Here's, um, the, the radio was, oh wait, 1946 radios, phonographs, and tube, tour, tourless boy, something like that. The great 1947. Again, I found some information of the clock. How to disassemble it, but radio forms wouldn't give me the damn information. I got this to help me with capacitor with the mica caps. One of them is showing signs of being bad. I have this cool radio service sticker. Here's a good piece of information. Oh, wait, we'll save that for the introduction. We don't want to. Um, this is what the radio looked like before. Side, side. My printer ain't very good quality. I'll give it that, but um, we'll just save that. Oh, I have news. You see those capacitors? Those will be replaced with... Hold on. I haven't gotten out the right information. Where the fuck is it? Oh. One minute. Ah, that's what we need. Look at this. Every single component and part I need. And look at the price. Total. Five dollars and ninety one cents. That is worth it. This radio will soon be fixed. And this is the grand total if I were to want to replace all the tubes. Except for the 35W4. That one's still good. But the main one I want to replace is the 12SQ7. That one's bad. I found one on eBay for $550. Um, but that would be the grand total if I were to go with the tubes as well. I looked on the schematic. Here's a... I won't show that, but... This is the schematic of the radio. Okay, let's start right here. This is the power going in. This is the power going in. It is going in through the clock and through the lead where the buzzer is to the clock. This is the main control panel. <sighs> now, this is wire. This is like an A5 radio, but it's a four-tube radio. So the power goes in through the clock switch. Then it goes through. I think that, that's a capacitor sign. 
And then over here, it clearly lists, lists 0 0.05 microfarads. And we need three of those. UF stands for microfarad, the site told me. They're, they have the right caps. This is what radio repairmen are using. Okay, so we got that. Then all the tubes are wired in parallel. So if we're... If one were to go out, the rest would go out, and the radio wouldn't work until you get the new one. It's like the Christmas tree effect. And then this is running through a 22 ohm resistor. And then the 35Z5GT is the power tube, the main tube that takes the main hit, and then the others take the hit. And then when you go through here to your B plus, and then let's just skip over here. And then we have more 0.05 microfarad capacitors. There's three of these in total, listed right here. Quali quantity three at 630 volts. That's how much I need because I have looked through all the capacitors and they're all rated 600, but. 630 is fine. Then you go up to here, you see some resistors. This is the. Um, and then over here we see a 0 0.005 microfarad. There's two of those in total one here and one here, which goes to the audio output 50L6 GT tube. And then over here is your electrolytic capacitor. The value is 30 microfarads, 20 microfarads, 40 microfarads. So what I did, I, I'm going to use a 33 UF at 160 volt. This is a 22 UF at 160 volt. This is a 47 UF at 160 volt. It doesn't matter if you if the values go up it'll still work just fine and then you got our point oh oh five uf 630 volt and then we have a point oh two uf which is right here where the speaker is that obviously runs with the speaker point oh two that is an orange drop capacitor the rest of these are axial capacitors the ones that are in the radio right now. But uh, that's a grand total, and we're going to do it. This thing is getting fixed. So I can not wake up to this bloody buzzer, which... Okay, here's something weird. Let me move all my shit. Here's something weird with the buzzer. So, I'm asleep, yes. I wake up. It, to pull it out to activate it. This isn't, this doesn't electrocute. I don't feel anything coming through that, actually. It's all grounded. It's a safe radio, actually. Okay. So, say the buzzer's out. I wake up, and the buzzer's like, Bzzz. Here, I'll just give you an example. Stupid plant. I'll just speed up the clock. It doesn't matter. Actually, fuck, it does. Shit. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't, because I could just go backtrack it. Oh my god, this thing is so hard to turn. Oh my god, it's turning the... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Come on. It's getting close. Okay, maybe I should have just... Okay, fuck it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, I screwed up my clock. Fuck, I'll fix it later. But say the buzzer's going off. And I click it. Like that. And I go back to sleep. The buzzer wakes me up, but it don't keep me up. 
That's probably a me problem. And I figured out how to set the alarm on this thing. You see this little dial? This dial replicates this, the clock itself. This is a little mini clock. What you do, you want to set it to, let's see, ew, what is that? That's disgusting. I don't know. You want to set it to, uh, like, say, hmm, 6 o'clock, you put it to the 6. It's that simple. I thought it was, like, a minutes or an hours thing, something like that, but I know I thought wrong. But, yeah, this is, actually, I cannot find a radio that looks like the, that has red knobs like this one. I think this is rare. This is probably the only radio that could have red knobs that exist. Because I cannot find one with red knobs and red text. I can't. Oh, damn, light went out. Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, this little update. Radio itself is uh, doing well. I fixed the backing plate. I reinforced it. Now, if you excuse me, I need to reset my damn alarm. But, uh... First...